Okay, good evening everybody. It is Monday, January 11th, 2021. Welcome to uh, what, what are going to be two meetings tonight. Uh, the first of which is our organizational meeting and the second will be our regularly scheduled uh, Board of Education meeting. Uh, before we dive into our organizational meeting, please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, under God indivisible, to liberty and justice for all. Okay, I'll take this off. Thank you, everybody. All right, uh, let's get going. Um, Mr. Roush, I'm sorry. Yep. I Did, yeah, I think it is. Yep. President McFarland. Here. Vice President Singer. Secretary Roush is here. Member Lauterbach. Here. Member Baker. Here. Member Blazy. Here. Member Hatfield. Here. All right, and then I have 1.2 as well. <clears throat> so this is the ceremonial oath of office for those that were just elected. So Lynn Baker, Brad Blazy, John Hatfield, and Scott McFarland. So if you would, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly I do swear. Solemnly swear, swear, swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support will the Constitution support of the United, United States. States. The United States. And the Constitution of this state. And the Constitution, and the of, this Constitution state. of this state. And that I faithfully discharge the duties of the office. And that I'll faithfully that discharge I'll faithfully the duties, discharge the duties, of, the duties of, of office. office. office of member of the Board of Education of Midland Public Schools. Of member of the Board of Education, Board of, education of Midland Public Schools. Of Midland Public Schools. Midland County, Michigan, according to the best of my ability. Midland County, Michigan, Midland County, according Michigan, to the best of my ability. According, according to the best of my ability. That's it. Okay. Congratulations to, our, to John as our new member. Thank you, Thank Phil. You very much. Uh, congratulations, welcome. everybody, for your re-election. And, John, welcome. It's nice to have you with us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, we're going to jump right in. Item 2.1, this is information only um, on our agenda. It is under the revised school code MCL 380.1 at SEC. The district's legal status was defined as General Powers School District, effective July 1, 1996. Uh, now we have what are going to be a number of motions, uh, beginning with item 3.1. Uh, this is as outlined in board policy 0150, a three-person board of education nominating committee submitted a proposed slate of officers for 2021. The proposed slate is as follows. President, Scott McFarland. Vice President, Phil Rausch. Secretary, Pam Singer. Treasurer John Lauterbach. And with that, I will accept a motion. Make a motion to approve the officers as outlined in, in 3.1 of our meeting minutes. So moved. Motion by Phil, uh, support by John. Thank you. Uh, any discussion? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries, thank you. We have our slate of officers. Next up, item 4.1. Uh, these are going to be uh, study committee appointments and other committee appointments. And I'm gonna go through and read them and at the end we'll do a, a similar motion. Uh, this one's just information. Oh, I guess it is yeah. information only. Okay, well, I'll give you the information only. <laughs> um, for the administrative services, we have John Hatfield as the chair Brad Blazy and Lynn Baker. Under curriculum instruction and assessment, we have John Hatfield as the chair, Lynn Baker and Pam Singer. Under FFO, I will be the chair. Uh, John Lauterbach and Phil Rausch will be joining me on that committee. Human resources, Phil Rausch will be the chair, joined by Pam Singer and Brad Blazy. Other committee appointments include the 2021 District School Improvement Committee, and that'll be uh, chaired by Brad Blazy, 
Next will be the Gerstacker Teacher Proficiency Award. That will be handled by John Lauterbach. Uh, the 2021 Distinguished Service Award will be done by Lynn Baker. The 2021 Advisory Board on, sex, on Instruction in Sex Ed will be done by John Hatfield. And the 2021 MPS School Board Association Rep at Why, Claire and Gladwin. Claire and Gladwin Regional ESD uh, will be myself and Pam Singer. Thank you for the, no the help on that, guys. Uh, next up, we have item 5.1. This is an action item. The uh, Board of Education is required to give public notice of the dates of its regular meetings and of any special meetings. The recommended regularly scheduled meetings of the Board of Education of the Midland Public Schools for 2021 are listed below, and those are outlined in the agenda. Um, and I will take a motion to accept those dates. Make a motion to approve item 5.1 for the meeting dates as listed in the meeting minutes. Support. Motion by Phil, support by Lynn. Any discussion regarding the dates in item 5.1? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Thank you very much. Next up, we have appointments, designations, and Board of Education matters. This is item 6.1, another action item. Uh, this is appointment of the Board of Education's legal counsel. Uh, the firms LaPont, LaPont and Butler, Lusk Albertson, and Thrun. Uh, was there Lusk still? Was that right, Mike? Yeah, we'll have to. We'll, it, it can be there for now. Okay. They've changed names. And uh, through and firm PC have been designated as the board's legal counsels. In addition, the superintendent is authorized to retain specialized legal counsel through other legal firms as appropriate. It is recommended that the board approve legal representation as outlined through December 31st, 2021. Make a motion to approve appointment of LaPointe, Lusk, Albertson, and Thrun is our legal counsel. Support. Motion by Phil, support by John. Any discussion regarding 6.1? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, uh, another action item 6.2. It is recommended that the board designate TCF Bank and any other public De depositories qualified in accordance with MCL 380.1221, the revised school code of Michigan, as approved depositories of school districts, district funds through December 31, 2021. The treasurer of the Board of Education is the legal financial officer for the school district and as such is authorized to sign checks for the Midland Public Schools. The superintendent and associate superintendent for finance are the only members of the staff authorized to sign checks for the Midland Public Schools. It is recommended that the board approve this authorization through December 31, 2021 for these staff members. Scott, I move that TCF Bank or its successor uh, be uh, designated as the district's depository uh, for the coming year as proposed. Okay, support. Motion by John, support by Phil. Any discussion regarding item 6.2? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries, <clears throat> thank you John. Uh, next up, moving along, we are item 6.3. This is personnel authorizations. The board in previous years has authorized the superintendent or his designee to sign any legal documents relating to personnel actions which the board has approved. The authorization has been made at the organizational meeting for the entire year, rather than granting the authorization at each board meeting. It is recommended that the board continue this authorization through December 31, 2021, to the superintendent or his designee. It is further recommended that the board delegate authority to accept resignations and retirements to the superintendent of schools or his designee through December 31, 2021. Resignations and retirements will be reported in subsequent agendas. Make a motion to approve superintendent for personnel authorizations. Support. Motion by Phil, support by Lynn. Thank you very much. Um, any discussion regarding 
All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Thank you very much. Next up, item 6.4. This is a hard cap for employees medical benefit plan. Um, this is run by the Associate Superintendent of Finance. It, Brian, do you need to comment on this or? Okay. Public Act of 152. Public Act 152 of 2011 limits a public employer's expenditures for medical benefit plans. Under the Act, a public employer that offers or contributes to a medical benefit plan for its employees is prohibited from paying more than, an, more than more of the annual costs or illustrative rate, and that's and any payments for reimbursement of copays, deductibles, or payments into health saving accounts or similar accounts used for health care costs than the state hard cap limits. Administration recommends that the board reaffirm the district's commitment to pay no more than the hard cap for its employees' medical benefits per fiscal year. Now take a motion, please. So moved. Okay. Support. Motion by John, support by Phil. Any discussion regarding item 6.4? I have a question. What kind of uh, impact is this change going to have? I don't think it's a change, but it's a reaffirmation. But um, yeah, sure. Brian will be happy to explain it. Yep, no okay, problem. Um, the impact is the hard cap moves by a percentage. It's typically tied to like CPI every single year. And okay. for this year, the hard cap was raised 3.3%. Um, so what that means in real terms for Midland Public is for a single subscriber, it's around 68.18, and that moves up to 7,043. For a married okay. plus one, 14,260 to 14,730. And then for a full family, that insurance rate goes from 18,596 up to 19,210. Now, that's not actually what Midland Public pays, but that's the maximum that a district can contribute to that person's actual insurance line. Which, okay, lead, cool. which leads to a, a pooling formula we use, John, for employee contribution to make up the difference. Okay. That's correct. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any other questions, guys? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 <clears throat> Any opposed? Okay. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Uh, our final motion, well, second to last, is the recommend, uh, recommendation for action. This is administrative assistant authorization of the superintendent. It is recommended that the superintendent's designee, the administrative assistant to the Board of Education, be authorized to assist the secretary of the Board of Education in election matters through December 31, 2021. Thank you. Support. Motion by John, support by Phil. Any discussion regarding item 6.5? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that motion carries. Thank you very much. And that will wrap up our first meeting. I'll, I'll accept the motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Motion by Phil. Support. Any support by John. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, we stand adjourned on our organizational meeting.